Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. And you join me here in the early morning of day 20, and I am surveying my good townsfolk as they go about their daily duties, having a look at Michael after his first night's sleep on a comfortable bed, getting ready to have a look at how I'm going to go about perhaps uh, getting rid of some of the crap I don't need. I, yeah, click. I thought I got away without clicking you, but I hadn't. Uh, we might as well get rid of all of this wall because I don't want to be using s just plain raw stone. It's not the first night anymore. I'm going to replace that with a bit more of a substantial wall in a moment. You'll get through that. So we'll fast forward you up to this. So I want to build... Um, I'm planning to build a... 10 by 10 base here, which I can then convert into a. It needs to be 11 by 11, doesn't have a 10 by 10 inside. And I'll build that into a house. That means we don't have enough field stone because I can't do the maths. Make a crap load of that, please. So don't build the whole of the map in it. Here she comes, trundling through the woods. And yeah, that's good. So you can be released and domesticated. Found another boar to capture. So she's now going to be, I think she's feeding it now, isn't she? Yeah, feeding it, making it happy. Oh, is she now capturing stuff from it? What have you got in your inventory? Some wheat, not some wheat. Deal with collecting resources. It's much more useful to have resources collected. You're happily putting that in place. You're doing all that. You don't know why you've missed the whole of this corner. Apparently that's what you do. Apparently your job is to annoy me by not doing the work I've asked you to do. You've hit max level. That steel pickaxe is pretty boss. I'll give you that one. I uh, just realised we could maybe get you building some steel. A silver steel. Don't know why I did that in two fives. Just because we can get you some experience by doing it, I guess. good. Take those two out as well. Then you can return down underground to some more standard mining duties. We have got plenty of wheat, I believe. Although we're about to hit the food maximum, so we need to build some more storage. So we've got a collection of food barrels going on here, so there's no reason why we can't continue with that. You're going to be my carpenter in a moment. When you finish doing whatever it is you're doing, go and build the food barrel. Uh, iron, we need iron for food barrels. Oh, don't use all my iron for making steel. That was close. Nope, wrong button. How much? We've got quite a lot of iron, not very much iron ore. Two are about equal distance apart, are they? It's all good. So let's have a look. Who's doing what? I have failed at crafting a gold ingot. Oh, and you lost two ore as well. That's painful. Painful loss of resources there from you. going well. You finish doing what you're doing. We 
you're a build you're my highest level builder. You're a high level blacksmith, you're a high level carpenter. I need some tailoring done though. I don't need any blacksmith done for a while. So make some rope. So four so we can get easily ten rope. We then have plenty of options for cloth from both wool and cotton. So ten of that is forty, that's fine. You are going to need a loom. So we're going to need to build you a loom. Which I'm guessing we can throw down wherever we want. Is it there? Brilliant. You can loom it. Um, yep. Knock that loom out of the park. And then you can make some rope. Yeah, sorted. You only finished with this. So it's going to be for people to sleep in. So oh crap! Don't use all the cotton to make cloth then. So we need to leave one for the wall. So that's one there. Another one there. There, is that correct? Not quite. So we'll build. No one, no one will ever notice. We'll build an extra row. Oh, we have another chicken. So quickly, 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 quickly. Haven't heard the chicken. Uh, we don't have near enough resources to uh, to build another house. We build the brick house or cobblestone house. Let's have a look at the cobblestone. Looks like quite a nice house, but this is a fire. Fire is bad. Let's see what the neck is up to. Oh, that's. That's quite devastating. What did you set on fire? A sheep. Is that what this says? Not gonna find it, am I? Well, at least now we've only got one skeleton with a necromancer. A couple of glitchy skeletons over here. So yeah, that's uh, that's gone. It's gone quite well. I don't know why we haven't had any migrants or any. Anything, any, any, anything's come through for a while. Congratulations, you've tailored up quite nicely. Um, get you to carpenter. We then build these beds. We'll go for the darkest one. We'll go for bricks. No. Oh, I see. I'm in the wrong menu. <laughs> we'll go for brick three. Make me a hundred brick threes, and we will assign this bed who's gonna want this bed who's gonna be working stonemason's gonna be working the hardest, aren't they really so give it to Glenda where there. Yeah. Bad Gareth. Bad use of every function. Oh, there we go. We've, already... We've captured the chicken. I can't click it though. There we go. Please this make. Yes. So we now should get some feathers, which means we can build some arrows, which means we can build some archers, which means we can build some everything. One block of field stone missing. Apparently I can't 
build into that corner. Uh, door. Solid wood door. That'll do nicely. Let's fuck that up one night. Oh well. There we go. Solve that problem. Then we have the starting of our accommodation for everyone involved. So what resources are we short? Cotton. So I used a little bit too much of the cotton to make cloth. Luckily cotton is a renewable resource and so all we have to do is wait. And you will eventually farm some cotton. Look at it, it's over here now. Come, come and farm this bad boy. I don't think we need you catching fish for the time being. We have plenty of fish rocking up. Um, what do we want you to do is the other question we have to ask. Who is my designated woodchopper? The farmer. I need you together. Yep, so John West. You are now a woodchopper. Because we're going to get you to restock our coffers with all the wood in all the land. Blitz it all. Chop it all up nice and good. Because we've got 600 food now. There should be plenty of food to keep us going for quite a while. I might get rid of some of these trees. As we have probably a ridiculous number of saplings that we could then put in place somewhere else. How many axes have we got? Let's make sure we've got enough tools for him. Should we give him a bronze axe? I'll make a bronze axe, shall we? Oh, we have another bed. You are not able to make that remaining bed yet, so I'll put you back to blacksmith. And we'll set an ownership to this one to. Um, Glenda's already got a bed. The miner, that must be tiring. I can't remember his name. So I'll just put the miner. We need to build you a herd hut. It's another another building that needs to be prepared for. So we might put a hut just, just next to this. It's going to be a bit mix, mix and match at first. We'll build. Now, try try flatten a whole heap of this land up here. To take all the trees down, take all the stumps away, and just flatten the huge corner here, and build my my sort of major show-off hall and a town hall and all that stuff. That's the the next question I guess I've got to answer is how do I want my my world to appear the next time I have a look at it when it's all finished. I will focus on getting these walls into a position ready to defend me. I do want to build a bridge across to the mainland and I do want to allow the enemies to start to attack me because I think I will be well prepared once I have that's a dead wolf. Once I have certain resources in place. I so want to come down here and just capture so many resources from all of these bodies. I think it will be extremely rewarding. Wood chopper, chop wood, farmer, farming. We need more cotton. So we're going to make one more copper ingot. I need to check that my miner is actually still mining. going. Whoa, 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 what's happened here? Are you going to mine this single block? Thanks for that. 
guessing that's what we'll do. We'll finish off this, uh, finish off this tower, shall we? Finish off this corner. And there we go. Towers are good in. I don't really see why you had to walk all the way across the map to do that, though. Now you're going to tell me you can't get to any mining areas. Idiot. So we need to give him this to dig. Apparently I must have undone it at some point. This one as well. Then get him to dig all of this out in the corner vital importance that we get the right resources from the right places. Also get him to finish this corner off. Yes, I can be really specific now. Dig, 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 dig. I would like to do, but apparently I can't click. I'm useless at clicking. I can't tell what that is, because it's going to tell me it's like above it. And then we are at the bottom. Then we are at the bottom of the map. And it causes us problems, because, you know, it's fixed itself. Mm. All good in the hood. Maybe. You need to destroy the pumpkin seed to consider constructing a food barrel. You need to destroy it for food. You need to destroy it, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it out there. Think I might need extra storage. There is not enough space for food, there will be. Give me time. Oh, I keep going for build, it's not under build, it's under storage. We have a lot of food barrels. What? Since when does a food barrel take copper? It was iron. Shit. Well, that's a kick in the crotch. Um, yeah. Well, that's, yeah, well, um, okay, so mining some copper is a bit of a high priority. That's, that's inappropriate. That's inappropriate for that sheep, that poor sheep. That poor, poor sheep, look what you're doing to him. You're a woman as well, you can't even do that to the sheep. It's a good job you're a woman, otherwise that would look suspicious. Getting lights, lights are going low, and you're doing that to a sheep. I think there's gonna be a few phone calls to the RSPCA as a result of this video. Everyone's going to be interested in what Hildegard has been up to with my sheep. Bloody Hildegard. Oops. I don't know how I did that. I pressed W. That's definitely not the wrong button. But that brings me to the darkness and therefore the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed my continued adventures and the beginnings of my barracks. Um for my chaps to sleep and hopefully that will allow them to recover a bit more thoroughly in the evenings allowing me to work them a bit harder during the day maybe 
And yeah, I hope you're enjoying and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now, guys.